Where you go, I'll go Where you stay, I'll stay When you move, I'll move I will follow Good morning, my name is Bill Shattuck and this is my wife Jenny and we are the founders and directors of Whispering Cove Retreat. And we have a son, Austin, who's 23, who's about to get married, and a daughter, Kara, who's at Asbury College. She's a junior. Have you ever asked the question, is where does my pastor go uh, to get help for his own personal uh, struggles? Or where does the missionary go? Or, or where does the, the youth director or the music director go uh, to get help? We have a tendency of thinking that the Christian leadership is immune to, to emotional struggles. Studies have shown that, that there are 1,500 pastors and missionaries that leave the ministry every month in, in our country. Um, the national divorce rate uh, among our society is 51%. Among pastors and missionaries, it's 48%. 70% of pastors uh, struggle with depression. 80% of pastors' wives say that the ministry has had a, a, um, a devastating effect on their family life and they want their husbands to leave the ministry. When I was in Bible college in 1979, I went through a time of depression that lasted for three and a half years. And my depression was so severe that uh, suicide seemed to be the only option. I attended a, a class taught by Larry Crabb and he was a clinical psychologist. And he was probably the most integrative thinker of the time of how to integrate secular principles and biblical principles together in dealing with the whole person. So God used that teaching to bring me out of my depression, but also through that, he birthed the vision of Whispering Cove within my heart, because I don't believe my depression would have gone as long as it did and deep as it did if I would have had proper help to begin with. And so that's where he birthed this uh, vision uh, within my heart to provide a place for Christian leadership where they can come and get the adequate help that they need. The program at Whispering Cove is our guests come and stay for two weeks. Uh, the two-week program, we provide counseling for them on a daily basis. We also do a teaching called the Psychology of Sanctification. Uh, then we also provide group therapy, let's say, for them on a daily basis. Two other components that we have in the program is that we put them on an exercise program, but also we have a nutrition component. And uh, uh, some of you have met uh, Robbie and Cindy Clark. They're our host couple. And it's been a blessing to have them be a part uh, of the team of here at Whispering Cove. And, and, um, and Robbie does a wonderful job maintaining the property. And Cindy does the cooking. But n she not only feeds them nutritious meal, but also she educates them about nutrition. I think the reward of being a part of Whispering Cove is that I get to be in the counseling room when God shows up and heals people. And it's like a holy moment. And we want to be a part of their healing process. And that brings me so much joy because I have had so much healing through counseling myself and I want that for others. And I just feel blessed. And I think that we are blessed as a, as a congregation to, have, to be under the teaching of, of Nick, uh, Pastor Nick. Uh, and just being able to see his honesty, his openness, his, his vulnerability and transparency with us as, as his flock. For me personally, uh, just being under the teaching of, of Pastor Nick uh, has been the best that I have experienced on a consistent basis in over 25 years. His teaching uh, you know, has helped equip both Jenny and I to be able to serve the way that we serve uh, people here at Whispering Cove. It's been refreshing for me uh, just being at, at New Covenant and uh, Pastor Nick and, and uh, the staff. They're such encouragers. And not only uh, being encouraged, they also know how to communicate encouragement to, let's say, to others. And another thing that's been very refreshing to me is that just realizing that, that, that the staff really loves us as a congregation. And uh, they care for us and they, 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 they pray for us. And that blesses my soul. Bill and I care deeply for people, and we want to be a part of their healing process. And we do it all for one. one.